Hi mga ka-certified maestro! Welcome back to my channel! So for today's video, we will have our um, video tutorial on how to make our Epson L380 Resetter Tool works. But then if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified if may bago kang videos. Alright? So let's start! Now, we will go to my channel, of course, Teacher Burns. So, in my channel, you can find there the video tutorial on how to reset our Epson um, printer. And then, in the description box, you can find there the link of our L380 Epson Resetter tool. You just have to click that one. And then, you will be directed to the media file. And then, just click the download. Then we will just have to wait. Okay, so as you can see guys, I have this Ant Download Manager. So this is actually a free download manager for any internet files like um, videos from YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And this actually helps you to download files faster than um, usual. So, let's go back to the video tutorial. So, after downloading the file, um, we will find it in our um, computer. So, as you can see there, um, there is a zip file, Epson L3 AT Resetter 2. And then, next is, we must see to it that our um, window security is off. So, in our test bar, there, you can see the window security. Just click that one. And then, we have to turn off the virus and threat protection. So, you just have to turn off that one. Virus, um, the real-time protection. And of course, you can also turn off your cloud-delivered protection. And also, the automatic sample submission and the tamper protection. So, don't forget guys, before doing anything else, you have to make sure that your window security is off. Alright? So, going back to our um, uploaded zip file, we will now extract. Just click Extract to Epson L380. And then, um, as you can see, you will be asked to input a password. So, just type our password. Thanks. So, I repeat, our password is thanks, T-H-A-N-K-S. And then, click OK. Right? So, we have now our extracted file, our Epson L380 Resetter tool. And then, you have to click that one. And in there, you can find our um, application. You can also find here the um, key gen or the key generator. And also, you can find here um, a notepad or a reminder to change first year date to August 1, 2017. So, we will have to change first our date. At the bottom right of our display, we can find there the date and then um, just click adjust time and date. And then turn off this one, set time automatically, and the other one. And then we will now change the date, the date to August 1, 2017. And then for the time, you can set your time um, any, any time you like. So, for the sake of this tutorial, I will just input 4.40 a.m. and then click the word change. Now, as you can see at the bottom right of our display, the date was already changed. So, we will now go back to our um, extracted file. As you can see, the time was already changed, so our time is 12.25 a.m. and our date is August 1, 2017. 
Now we will have to click our application. So the blue one, that is the application of our resetter. Then um, after clicking, you can find here the license ID. So all you have to do is copy the license ID. So just highlight the license ID and then um, right click and copy. And then you don't have to, um, to close this notification or this message. All you have to do is set aside and then you have to click the key gen or the key generator. After clicking the key gen or the key generator, you will be asked for a new key. So as you can see here, um, it says name for write-in key. So actually you can leave it blank. But for the sake of this tutorial, guys, I will just input my channel name or the name of my YouTube, which is Teacher Burns. Alright, so after that one, we'll go to the license ID, the one that we copied earlier. So we'll just paste it. And then after that, is, um, we will have to click the word new key. Alright, so just click that one. And then, an activation key will appear. So, all you have to do is copy that one. Copy key to clipboard or you can also highlight that one. Right click and then copy. Then, we will go back to the one that we set aside earlier. And then, click enter key. And then, um, paste the one that we copied earlier, the new activation key. Then, click OK. And then finally, we have our Epson Adjustment Program or our Epson Resetter Tool for L380. Alright? And since I don't have an Epson L380 printer, so you can watch my full video tutorial on how to reset our Epson L series printer and if you find this video helpful please don't forget to like guys and of course again subscribe to my channel bye guys